Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How are you today? Welcome to your first 2021 love reading for the year. Let's take a look and see what the energy is overall for Capricorn in love. I want to wish all of you a happy birthday, a happy belated birthday, and certainly a happy new year. I do personal readings. I am a full-time psychic and have been online vetted for over 13 years independently. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Email addresses, my offerings, and my website. Attachment. All right, let's see what that's about. You have just finished a 28 year cycle. So Capricorn, you have really gone through a very transformative period. Look at this, you're on a new journey. So you have attachment, a new journey. I like it. You're certainly on a spiritual path. It looks like you've had a lot of successes or are about to manifest a lot of financial and uh, success and security. The seventh house chakra, Archangel Uriel, is protecting you currently. Beautiful. Okay, so let's look and see the energy in the love lives of our Capricorns at this time. So Capricorn, Capricorn, where are you? Oh boy. Okay. Well, old with the uh, out with the old and in with the new. I'm glad that's in the recent past. Whatever it was that you were having a difficult time with, the Four of Swords says that you were mending a broken heart. You may have even, you know, felt under the weather physically. I'm getting this energy, that beautiful energy, that you have someone in your life with whom you are very likely to marry, but it looks as though this person has been very focused on their own coin, their own stability. I feel as though you felt ignored. I'm getting the sun card of happiness coming in the near future. So I feel definitely that for those of you who are seeking a committed relationship, your wish is about to come true with that sun card. That is a card of greatest happiness. I do feel though that you have gone through a rough period also that this person is someone that you're willing to leave behind that's a libra queen you want to have a and you are it looks as though you are headed towards a reconciliation with this person the, but the seven of swords tells me that there's been some sort of drama or lack of truth or sneaking around or just energy that says that you don't trust this person. You have had some sort of trust issue with this person, Capricorn. This does look like the Taurus King. This is Hierophant. That's um, Taurus energy, Taurus energy, and Sun is Leo energy. I feel as though Capricorn, for many of you, you have been very concerned that a regular and significant partner in your life may have cheated. You're at least worried about it. I don't know that all of you have confronted this, though I think most of you have. The Seven of Swords says that this person has certainly not fessed up to anything, but intuitively speaking, you know, your attachment with this person and the journey that you're on is protected. But it does show me that, you know, the energy is that you feel as though you might have found a receipt or something in somebody's wallet, a text message of affection or what looks about like some sort of duality in a relationship. The three of coins means that it could be a person with whom you're having a relationship. It could be like a work text. They would claim that it was a work text when it wasn't. You're staying very cool, calm, collected and aloof currently. The Two of Swords says that this just doesn't add up for you. Whatever they're telling you does not add up for you. The Temperance card says that you just can't come, you can't really, you can't believe it. The Temperance is this person wants you to just like sort of blend in, like, oh, everything's fine. Don't worry about it, Capricorn. And I'm just not seeing you buying it. Temperance is reversed. You don't feel like things are in a good place right now. Um, so let's see what we have. This attachment and the journey. This is so interesting. So please tell us messages, more messages to give us information 
about what's happening. We have Pisces energy. You also want a victory in this relationship. For many of you, you would like to get married and you want this person to propose and it looks like for some of you, they may you may get the feeling that they're not willing to propose and they may be off sort of you know, looking for other opportunities. So for some of you, I feel that's the energy. This could be a proposal coming in the future, but what you thought was a proposal for those who are single, um, it looks as though there's, it's really giving you a moment of pause because you were going along in a very happy way until this happened. And then you were thrown into this energy. The Four of Cups upright is that you feel as though this person is not that, um, they just, you think they're bored, you know? So for many of you, if you've dated someone for a long time, you know, this card came out reversed. So you have gotten their attention, Capricorn. You know, when we have, whenever we have this Libra Queen, I can really see that you would have questioned this person. You would have asked for answers. I feel as though they said things like, oh, honey, I wouldn't do that. You're the one for me. And yet you've seen something. You've seen something that's nagging at you that you didn't want to see. And although this seems like very logical and very plausible, you're not buying it. I don't see you buying this. You don't feel at ease. You feel like, you know, you feel as though a little bit like this person, you know, if they had a conquest or a victory with somebody that they've hung you out to dry. I don't really see you having a big willingness to stick with this. You're coming in with this Aries Emperor energy, and I really like that energy for you, Capricorn, because it really speaks volumes to the fact that you are taking control of the situation and of your life. So it really is showing me that your energy is one of bossing up. You've got this chess piece here and you don't, you don't, you're going to play your cards a certain way. You will leave this relationship or attachment if you feel as though um, this person isn't honest with you. So let's see what else. Yep, eight of, I could see it, eight of cups, yep. So this journey, look at this, you know, you're willing to go find your happiness. You're willing to go find your love. You really, um, especially with Pluto in Capricorn right now, for those of you who were born in the last 10 days of Capricorn um, energy, that would be from like the 12th to the 22nd. It looks as though you're still going through what could be a divorce or a breakup of a long-term relationship. We're gonna go ahead and clarify these cards and see what's going on here, Capricorn. Why did you feel as though you need, why did you have to heal? Okay. So we have Libra energy, the justice card. So somebody didn't treat you fairly. And then we have Judge Judy over here, so that makes perfect sense to me. Because you're like, you know what, I'm not even going to look at this. I'm not going to. And again, you're not looking at it. You're willing to walk. You know, you're looking at things from a different perspective. You're not buying what somebody told you at all. You know, you have turned a blind eye to what this person did, but you have not forgotten. So let's see why we have Hierophant here. The Queen of Cups, you love this person very much. They love you too. You are very much loved and you love a lot. We're getting the Emperor energy here. Look at with a Seven of Swords again. Okay, so whoever your person was, it looks like they could be an Earth sign energy. But we're getting somebody who's very crafty. We have the Emperor here, we have the Emperor here, and basically running a strategy. It feels as though they're playing a game of deception. Ho-hum, ho-hum, there's nothing to see here. I don't like this energy for you, Capricorn. You know better. But the Seven of Swords twice in the same row, this person clearly, Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, different deck. This is uh, the Taurus King is typically a father type person. This marriage and the, the uh, Cancerian Queen is a marriage filled with love. So there is a lot of love here. But again, when I get this Emperor card, I get someone who's trying to sort of boss their way out 
of having to deal with the consequences. I'm really getting for those of you who are in this situation, you'll know who you are, but I really get the feeling that this person, whatever they did, they like the marriage, they want the marriage, they want the relationship with you, Capricorn. They would have closed the door on this situation, but you know, they're very happy. They, they are happily married to you. But the energy, when we get that Seven of Swords energy along with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands being directed in a way that makes you have to heal, you know, very clearly this person feels a bit above the law because the Emperor energy is a person who, like, is the enforcer in society. It's like the judge, you know. You go to court, you, you know, am I going to get fined for my ticket? And that Emperor card is the energy of sort of judge, jury, you know, that sort of thing. And we get the Libra Queen here. So this person feels like, no, no, you know, I'm happy. You know, that's, I'm all, I'm good. I'm really happy with you. And they are. So why is it here? The Four of Cups. In a moment of boredom, they did something foolish. They threw caution to the winds. The Page of Wands doesn't have to necessarily mean that something bad happened. However... The way the story is going here, they're pretending as if, ha ha, nothing to see here, move along. And you know they're, you know that this person had this interaction. We get that, that fourth cup there is this energy down here. The Knight of Wands, this is a person, or the Page of Wands, this is a person who might have been very dashing and daring with you and you sort of see them being pumped up and revved up. You know, women and men, instinctively know when their partner is flirting with another. Okay. The Fool card says that you're, as far as you're concerned, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and you are willing. You're willing to start over with this person, but only if they come clean. Only if they really um, come clean. I'm seeing that otherwise you will walk away and you will use your intuition to figure it out. Okay, so the Six of Cups, oh wow, is clarifying the Six of Cups. So your person is coming in with this energy. The way they answer, you know, it does look like they want to reconcile. It looks as though you want to reconcile. The player energy gives way, Capricorn, to the two of you trying to make things better, to healing. You're healing from the fact that this person gave you, put you in a competitive situation, and you're the you're the significant other, so you should never be in that situation. You know, this you wish you hadn't seen it, but you did. Again, I feel that this is a person in the work environment that is texting or chasing or pursuing. So even if your person hasn't actually had a relationship, they've come dangerously close with some sort of texting situation. You are staying cool, calm, and collected. You are the magician. Whoa, you are powerful. That is, you are biding your time. That is Virgo and that is Virgo and Gemini energy. You are definitely manifesting what you want. You're asking for help from the angels. We're asking, you're asking for help from Archangel Uriel. And here you have the lover's card. This person was a soulmate or is a soulmate to you. Soulmates are here to teach us lessons. Things don't always work out with a soulmate. But what we see is that, you know, the only reason you're giving this person the time of day is because you've had a long-standing relationship. The Nine of Wands with the Temperance Reverse says that there's a part of you, especially if you share a family, there's a part of you that is reluctant to break up the family. The hanged man energy, yep, the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles here, the king of pentacles here. So, you know, you're just sort of going to, this energy is all about you watching this person, paying attention to this person, not saying much. So if they've denied this activity that you feel I feel as though you've seen the text, you you know for sure that there's something wrong, but you're going to sort of let them hang themselves out to dry 
if they are arrogant with you. The Six of Wands is kind of cocky. Eight of Wands, this person is pursuing you. Your, your lover looks as though they are coming back into the relationship with you. They're, they want to make love. They want to talk. They're giving you a lot of attention. The Ace of Swords, though, tells me that the truth speaks loudly to you. You're still not satisfied with what they've done. Why is the Emperor card here with our beautiful caps? Eight of Coins, again, this looks very workplace room related. Okay, so your outcome for this reading is the Eight of Cups. Who walks away from what? Well, you're at a turning point. You're at a fork in the road. Look at this. You are marching towards the relationship again. I'm getting that you have you are this journey that you've been on. Let's see what else. Let's see what your person's doing. Yep, the good. Okay. So for those of you who feel as though you've been in a relationship where you were being juggled, I feel as though you were a primary person. It can go, it can be vice versa. You could be the other party. You could be the lover that was spending time with, you know, uh, a married person. It is what it is, right? I mean, those things happen. Um, and but they're very difficult and painful for everyone but I'm getting that the marriage whatever marriage is shown up here is um, it's considered very carefully and it looks like your person or this person that you're dealing with Capricorn is going to make the choice to stay in the marriage so this journey that you're on you are divinely protected let's see what the cards are saying here about what your advice is. I do feel with that Saturn cycle, you may have just come through a period like this in your life. For those with whom it resonates, okay. It's time to release negativity. So the full moon in Scorpio is about redemption. It's about the fact that you have to forgive somebody to start anew. And Scorpio is about death and rebirth. So for those of you who are, who are in this situation, the cards are telling you, look, at we have this beautiful message to, it's a Virgo energy. You are good enough. So your person loves you very dearly. I see bad judgment having been used here. It does look as though the two of you successfully reconciled the relationship, but it isn't without you being willing to walk away or having walked away or separated for a period of time. It does come back in a very joyful way. The Ten of Cups is a happily ever after card. It, you will have to rebuild with this Virgo energy. You will have to rebuild the trust. So let's get one more card here. Let's pull one from the Lenormand Oracle and see what else we have. So if you stay with this person, what will be the outcome here? All right. Error recognition is a first step to avoid them in the future. Okay, so the mice energy just says that whatever was going on in your relationship, little tiny bites out of the relationship, little tiny neglects, little tiny things that don't seem much at the time to interfere with a successful, happy relationship have taken place and you are this beautiful guardian angel once again is going to help you reinvigorate your relationship in a very happy way. You do have the world card. This has been a very successful relationship. You know that both of you very much want the same things. You have the same value system. So I do feel that this is a period of, of time in your life, Capricorn, when you have come through a rugged period and you are healing and your relationship is being healed also. Capricorn, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye.